And we just walk on right across. And uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but these are basically just the um, blue funguses or whatever they're called. Um, the bouncing guys. So you gotta hit these guys up. And this is usually where it's easy, the easiest to uh, get higher tech points because um, what this hill does is it slides them back down towards you. So pretty much it makes things a lot easier. But what I want to do now is actually try to get some treasure because we haven't collected any treasure so far as of now. But uh, here's one. We get a Flare G, which I think is a large engine for our ship. And also, if you've noticed, there's these things over here. Uh, what you can do is use fire on them to light the bottom up. And then it makes uh, miniature platforms that go up and down that take you back around uh, Halloween Town a lot quicker. So, uh, easy shortcuts can be made here. But what we want to do now is go to Oogie's Manor. Now, there's an interesting thing uh, here in this manor. Um, there is a red trinity in this uh, place where uh, if you don't get it now, you don't lose out on your opportunity to get it. But if you do get it now, then there will always be a red trinity mark stuck in your game for the rest of your game. So it's up to you whether or not you want to get the Red Trinity mark here. Uh, I usually do and end up dealing with the Stuck Forever Trinity mark. And uh, since I fell down here, I get to show where your, uh, the Trinity mark is. So. Here is the trinity mark now, right here, and if you were to activate it now, you get the treasure chest, everything seems fine. However, uh, when you do uh, finish this area, um, something happens that is pretty much a big change to this area, so uh, what they decided to do was put the trinity mark here again just in case you didn't do it when this area is like this right now so uh, what ends up happening is you get stuck with a red trinity mark here for the rest of the game and you have no idea what to do to get rid of it because there is no way to get rid of it at least I don't think there is because uh, once you've gotten that treasure you pretty much can't get the treasure again because that would be pretty uh, pretty ridiculous but uh, let's let this, these heartless suicide jump off the cliff come back up and then they jump off the cliff uh, which is really annoying because uh, when they respawn, they respawn with full health. So, uh, your best bet here is to just use magic to defeat them. And here we get a ether. Pretty good. 
pretty good. And what you want to do here is do what I did before, use fire, and then you deal with the Heartless. Because you don't want to run out of MP uh, when you're fighting the Heartless, and then you have to use fire on that lantern to proceed, and you have no MP. And here we get another ether. I guess that's why they give you so many ethers, is because they know that you're going to be using them. Okay, so I'm going to use the cottage here for the first time to restore everybody's HP and MP to full. And just ride this lantern up and go over here. And you can ignore these guys, but usually I just use thunder on them to defeat them. Get back my MP. Um, get the other guard going over here. Just thunder on him. Uh, get some MP back again. And as you can see, the second tier thunder spell is no joke. It does a little bit more decent damage compared to the first tier thunder spell. So, pretty good to have that with us now. And here we just want to use thunder again. And hopefully we can finish them in one hit. Or not. More like two hits, I guess. And let's see. This is a dead end. So we're going to go back here and go this way. So, pretty much. What we want to do is go up here, and uh, now we want to prepare as much as we can before we go into the evil playroom. And hopefully I don't fall all the way down. Okay, good. Okay. And... Once I can access the menu, okay, good. Uh, what I want to do is definitely use a camping set right now and give myself mega potions and mega ethers. Give Donald the last mega ether, give Donald an ether, and take away Jack's items. And give them to Goofy. And that's about it. I think all the items we have left are... Yeah, elixirs and mega elixirs. So we won't use those. But... Uh, what we want to do is just go in the evil player room. And now we have to fight these guys. So this is a mini boss. Uh, it's Lock, Shock, and Barrel. What we have to do is just defeat all three of them. And usually what you want to do is defeat... Um, I think the girl first. I don't know what her name is. So... Uh, I usually try to aim for the girl first. And finish off the girl. And then next you want to defeat this fat guy. Uh, the little fat kid. So. Um, if I can. Okay. Although I think that the order that you defeat them doesn't really matter. Um, 
It's just, I usually, I think I usually do it in this order anyways. And the last kid that you want to defeat is the, de the kid in the devil costume. say that they were just following orders and Oogie Boogie told them to steal the heart and it's all Barrel's fault it was his idea to tell Oogie Boogie about the heart and I think Barrel is the fat kid yep Barrel is the fat kid <laughs> but you guys said you should be ashamed of course the fat kid is usually the uh, scapegoat in every single type of predicament so uh i guess we're out of time for this episode uh we did quite a lot in halloween town we're pretty much done with halloween town so um next episode we will be uh finishing halloween town and Hopefully getting on to the next world. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.